Hi guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another account review in Summoner's War. We are in GK92's account and uh, this account is an Asia server. The specific account owner wanted some advice in getting G3 in regular arena. And specifically, he wanted to know how to deal with Neftis TN lane defenses. And I have an answer to that. By the time this account improvement goes up or this account review goes up, you guys have already probably seen it where I worked on one account in global, but we used the Christina offense to deal with so many team lanes. I don't know if you'll be happy with that advice. For anybody watching this video, I don't know if you'll be happy with it, but there are two reasons why this offense works so well. One, team lane is just flat out stupid. It either doesn't use skill 2 when it moves, or even if it does, it doesn't strip stun. And if you guys have the team lane, you guys probably felt that even more. And the second reason is that there are two Oblivions in this AO. The Delphoi has an Oblivion and the Christina has an Oblivion, which deals with a lot of the counterparts or the, a lot of the composition units in that defense. One being the Windy, if you land Oblivion on that, it makes the run much quicker. The other being the Camilla. And again, if you guys watch my video where I rushed, the most recent one, where I got G3 for an account, I've hit multiple of those defenses. And I think I didn't fail once, or I just failed once. And we succeeded in many, many more. And we got him that G3 record. For Neftis, it's a little different. I think you could first flat out outspeed it and win. Because I did see that you had the the Destiny. No, not Destiny. Who's that other girl? The Dark Valkyrie. Okay, I forgot her name, but I saw that you had her. So you could flat out outspeed or try at least. Uh, but if the Neftis and Tianling are together, the same reason applies. I think I'll still go into it with the Christina offense because for two reasons. Tianling is flat out stupid or it fails to strip down anyways. And the Delphoi is always there to wake everybody up. So I already answered his two questions, but we'll take a look at his runes and units and see, first of all, if he can make a annoying defense and other offenses that I think will be pretty crucial in fast clearing up to that G2, G3 level. Let's get right in and see what this account can do. So his best record was G2. Reason why he wants to reach that G3 record. Let's go check out his box. So he has four LD nap fives. One being the Yon Hong, the other one being the Zerath. And I'm surprised because he wasn't running a Zerath AO. I personally would love and try to run a Zerath AO because he's an HP scaling damage dealer. You don't need attack buff or anything. So I think it will, he would work really well in a second turn team. I never worked with one. I know I worked with Brogan in the fast team and a second turn team, but never a Zerath. So who knows, maybe somebody will ask for an account improvement for their account that has a Zerath with Leo, but I would really love to use him and I'm pretty sure his damage output would be pretty insane. He could be a very good option for fast clearing against those fast teams where you know you can't outspeed, the Clara, the TN lanes, so on and so forth. If there's no unit that, you know, blocks the critting or doesn't get crit, like Kinky and stuff, Zerath is for sure one of the units that does immense damage with his skill 3. So I'd love to use that. Uh, Yonong not really an AEO or AD unit, so I'm not going to talk about that. For the Dark, he has this unit here, the Pure Vanilla Cookie. She has a pretty nice kit, the, the Strip with the Slow and the Absorb, and then also Oblivion. I don't know if she could actually replace the Delphoi though, and she has really low base speed, so really not great as an AO unit, nor an AD unit, so I'll just not use that. And he has this right here, which is this Trinity, there you go, Trinity at 33 lead, so maybe if you have something like a Leah, which you don't, I don't know, I think you could use the Trinity depending on your Swift set and try to go for some kind of cleave, maybe a, probably a Lucian cleave is the best, right? Yeah. But again, that's the only thing that I could really think of. So the Trinity could be used in the fast team, and then the Zerath could be used in a slow team. I think he has most of the units. 
he's just missing a couple. So he has Zeras, he has Carnal, he has the Water Cookie, he has more, he has Shizuka, yeah. He has he has everything. He's not missing anything that's crucial, it looks like. So that's good. Yeah, Leo Tiana, Peng Bag, no question. So I think he's in a good spot. I think AO-wise, he has no issues going up to G3. But AD-wise, I guess the best thing he could do is copy that Vanessa, Windy, Nora, Camila. I think those are the most common uh, G3 or G2 defenses that I see. If there's no OPLD that you could use for defense. So you could try that out because I think that's more of the stall type of defense that people are now going for. And really the only answer that you could take into that, for me at least, that's for sure that works and that's quick is the Christina offense. So who knows, by the time that people watch my video, although a lot of people don't watch it, um, there might be people making the Christina offense for people that know that they're having a hard time with that. So the medical change again, but at least right now, up to now, that's my recommendation. Let's take a look at the runes. I think his runes are great. Violet runes like 29, 28, 27, really fast. Another 30, oh shoot, a 30. That's really, really efficient. Love to see that. Low, low quad, I know, but overall efficient. 28, 28, 27. I think he has better Violet runes than me. 31, yeah, he has definitely better Violet runes than me. 29, 26, okay. Very, very fast. Uh, 29 again, 28. And then 28 again, 28. He has multiple 28s, multiple 27s, and then he has a couple of 30s, right? You saw two 30 or 31s, which is really, really good. Let's take a look at Will. 26, okay. Will's a little slower on slot one, slot three. 33, Oof, my goodness, awesome room there. Another awesome room there. Really, I have nothing, nothing to say. I oh my goodness. Where's your legend grind and gem here? And you have it too. Holy cow, I think this is my first time seeing a perfect room like this. Was this a event room and it just rolled perfectly? <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what to say because this room is so perfect. I mean, yeah, something better than the flat HP, but still, that's still not bad, right? Holy cow. Another 33. Oh my goodness, your runes are insane. 29, oh my god. 28 in here, 28 as well, 28. So good, so good. Your will runes are better than mine as well. Now let's look at Swift. 28, okay. Grind these up, man. Gem grind. 27, okay. Slot 1's uh, not bad. Slot 3 is also not bad. Slot 4 is also not bad. Slot 5. I'm just saying this because now my, my standard just got up, went up from seeing those wild and will runes. But it looks like your will runes are lacking the most. Sorry, your Swift runes are lacking the most. So. I hope you're going for a swift room for your event because it looks like that would be a good one. Let's take a look at Despair too because these are some nice rooms to look at. It's cleansing my eyes. Okay, 29. Not bad, not bad. Pretty good. 27. Okay, it looks like GB12 is definitely the weaker weaker dungeon. Ooh, a 31 here though. That's another awesome room. Multiple quads that I see. And it makes me very, very happy. You have the room quality in my eyes to reach G3. But, that just, but that's just me. People might have a different opinion. Let's take a look at your event. What if that was your event room? Who knows? You didn't even start. Awesome. So I would maybe, you know, um, maybe advise you to go for a Swift screen because we know that you have multiple quads or at least some quads in your Violent and Wolf sets. Maybe you would want one for your Swift set. Now, if you look at your arena defense, like I said, I think the more annoying one that I see these days is with the... This is extremely common in G2, G3 and Global. And to be honest, the only way I go through this is with my Christina team. Nora is another stupid unit like the team lane. It has skill 2, it doesn't use skill 2. Even when it does, it, fit, it strips, but it sometimes fails to strip the, the Delphoi. And if that happens, the four just wakes everybody up. So I think I'll try this and see how it goes. And then for offense, the one that will put your runes on really, really well is this offense here. Let's see if you built it right. Ah, so many people don't build this team right. Leo double will. Double will is a requirement. Okay, double fight will. That's good too. And then I'm expecting high accuracy here. 
Yeah, you want high accuracy or you want violent here. Violent will, high accuracy. 85%. I now think just going for the 85 is the way to go. 100 res, 85%, because you do want to land your Oblivion for sure on the Windy or a Camila. Well, Camila, you can leave it up to the to the Christina, because Camila usually doesn't have a high res, because it doesn't need it due to the passive. But um, like Windy, they might have high res, who knows? Or Halfacy, they might have high res. So I would go for 85 accuracy. And finally, the Christina. Much it needs to be much more take here. This is not 100k EHP, so go for that. And also, I think you could do a vampire build. She she puts out enough damage even with the vampire build, 40, 50, 60k, which should deal with most of the most of these variants in in G2, G3. That's all I really have to say. If anything, I do think I would like you to try the Zerath here. If I want to try it, to be honest. But again, I've never met an account that came up to me with the Zerath to do this. You could even give it the crit rate buff, so you could even get more tankiness, right? And then try to do damage. Although right now it looks like it's on the crit rate or just an HP, HP, HP build or speed, HP, HP. See, the cool part of this is that if you go for a second turn team, Zerath doesn't have to be on speed. It could be HP, HP, HP or HP crit damage, HP, which is the more preferred build. So that's what I would do. Yeah, I'm gonna try this. I think it'll be fun. I'm gonna see the damage output. It'll be amazing. And then RTA, I'm pretty sure you have a very high record. Oh, G3 really, with a really high win rate too. So I mean, I think you're not somebody that should come to me. I'm pretty sure you know much better. Look at those win rates too. Although you've just been hovering over C2, C1. Um, I don't know how long, how old this record is, but I do see your runes that have the potential to obviously get to G1. I think G1 should be fairly simple if you have the game knowledge. Like, I don't know if you bought this account or anything, so I can't even say for sure. If you, if you got this record by yourself, then there's nothing for me to say, right? Because I think if you reached it once, if you have that knowledge, rune quality, yes, it's a thing, but I think as you go up, that rune quality difference because it's not that much at that point now it could be made up with game knowledge it's like with skit and with uh bd i think bd was gone for like two three years and he came back recently i think he played last season and he still reached g3 yes two three years ago he was like top top 10 he went to swc and stuff yes he wanted to at a certain point but still being able to reach that goal I think he went to top 100 for sure. Uh, same with Skit. Skit didn't really actively play RTA for a while. He played last season. He got easily G3, top G3 around there. So, but I do think those people were still farming in a certain way. I'm not saying they, they rested and I'm not saying you rested. So who knows? But with the room quality, I still, I think your room quality are pretty nice. So I think you can, you know, swim through the conquer level and play in Guardian. But yeah, guys, that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. I think that's the best thing I could say for him trying for a G3 record. It's Asia server, so it's a, it's a lot different, right? Asia is still probably one of the strongest, one of the stronger servers. Let's take a look at the, look at the rank. Like what are people running for their defense? LDs, LDs, multiple strips. Like I said, I think I will go with the Christina. I'll try Christina here. Cause if these two kind of fail, and I'm pretty sure I'm got fails a lot, so I'll go for the pushback on Triton if it's not on Will. If it is, um, which is, which you could safely assume it is because he is first place right now, even then, these two are both stupid. They're so stupid. Uh, Triton has the option to go skill one, skill two. AI sucks. And even the Nephthys, when he has skill two, doesn't use skill two. It's kind of insane. So if they're stupid, then I think, and if they're so much higher higher ranked than you, I think it's worth a shot to go in. Once you go in, once you have Christina and Delphoi, getting Oblivion on King Gi is extremely simple. Getting Oblivion on, with the Christina on, on the Amda is extremely simple. They're gone. They're gone, okay? Second one, Alan. Is that Alan SW? I'm not exactly sure. This is a little harder, but with Christina, it's simple to deal with Manins. So if she, if he, if she doesn't get the parries, it's a piece of cake as well. Again, I hit these and mana was usually the only thing that's left. Christina usually destroys them. Jin Yao. 
What are you running? Yeah, so these are a little different, right? These are a little different. Um, you can't go crystal here because there is the will and invisibility here. So these are more harder for me to deal with too. Again, easy, easy to deal with. Probably they're all on will. So you have to assume that, right? But Triton is stupid in most cases. So if he fails, it's free. So I will try these defenses out and offenses against, and try the Christine offense against those defenses and see how it does. Cause that's how I got G3 in global for another account. But that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys watched till now, please like and subscribe. If you guys want account reviews like this, please join my Patreon because all my Patreons can request an account review. Although there is a line, so I can't get to you right away. There are people waiting, but I will get to you. Promise that. And if you guys want to get account improvements, please join my Discord and check out the improvements price list channel. All the information is there. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.